Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Belle. This is the Belle Perspective. And why am I'm such a I'm such in a good mood. I'm in such a good mood, y'all. I'm about to go on a ski trip. Hey, 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 hey. So excited. I haven't packed, but we're going. Okay. So I'm excited, y'all. Okay. Anyway, uh I, we're here to talk about uh Real Housewives of Miami. Okay, that's what we're here for. Uh I have thoughts. I have thoughts. Um I'm going to try to go in order so I don't forget nothing, but y'all, you know, bear with me. If I forget something, get down in the comments, let me know. All right. Anyway, if you're new to my channel, I talk about reality, TV, books, movies, all sorts of things. So definitely peruse my channel and uh, check out my content. Subscribe if you're interested. Hey, girl, hey, if you're returning, you already know the drill. Get down in the comments. Let me know what you think about the episode. And don't forget to like this video before you leave. Let's get into the review. Okay, so this is Havana Nights, season six, episode 17, right before the reunion. I love this show so much, okay? Shout out to CFC Riley. Shout out to the movie man who also suggested this show to me. Yeah, did he suggest it? Actually, I don't know. But anyway, subscribe to his channel, okay? <laughs> Either way. And also, uh, shout out to my girl, CC. I'm not gonna put all her business out there, but she also was like, girl, you gotta do my yeti. Cause I love this show. It's um, it's good. If you're miss, you're missing out. You're missing out. Anyway, okay. So we all know that Larsa Pippen and Marcus Jordan is a publicity stunt. We already know it, right? For those of y'all who think that it's not, I'm sorry, baby. <laughs> I don't mean to bust your bubble, but sweetie, it is okay. And they have a little podcast. Okay, <laughs> let me stop saying love. That's a little. That's a hating word, y'all. Somebody say something about your stuff and it'd be like your love ring or your love house or your love hat. That's a hating word, okay? So I'm not going to use little, okay? But I am going to say they, they podcast, right? It's called Separation Anxiety. And I personally feel, right along with Gertie, that this girl is a clickbait horror, okay? That's what she called herself, or that's what she called Larsa. And baby, that's what we're going to start calling her from now on. <laughs> Larsa is a clickbait horror, okay? So we see Larsa and Marcus off of the heels of the publication that came out that said Michael Jordan is like hell nah I don't want Larsa with my son hell nah right well he didn't say hell nah he was like no I don't approve of it even after with knowing all this Larsa is still telling the girls that yeah he's okay with it you guys yeah he's fine like his mother loves everything we ain't asked about his mama we asked about about Michael Jordan okay but all right all right, all right. So they bring it up on the podcast. And again, I feel like it's just a publicity stunt. I think that the pairing know that they can try to drive as much attention to themselves with the whole situation with Michael Jordan. Because Larsa says that when they heard Michael Jordan say that they don't approve of Larsa, Marcus laughed. And I said, now why the hell would you laugh about that if this is somebody you really take seriously? I said, oh, this nigga ain't for real. <laughs> he ain't for real and this relationship ain't either, okay? And I also wanted to know, does Michael Jordan and Marcus Jordan have a good relationship with each other? Like, I don't know. Is this relationship like some sort of way to get back at, at Michael? Michael Jordan for not being there or something? Y'all, somebody sound off in the comments because I'm just, I'm really wanting to get into psychology of Marcus Jordan and why the hell he decided to get with Larsa of all people, okay? Anyway, you know, Marcus says maybe my dad will clarify at some point what he meant. He said, I doubt it. I said, that nigga, he literally just said no. Like, we already, there is no clarification. What else to clarify? No. <laughs> like, it's only one word. What do you need to clarify, dear? Okay. Anyway, yeah. Larsa is holding on to the hope and the prayer that, you know, Marcus Jordan and Mama like her. And I said, well, girl, okay. <laughs> maybe maybe marcus jordan mama was like please take this nigga because i'm tired of him living off of me because quiet as it's kept what the fuck does he do for a living anyway we're moving forward okay gertie and nicole gertie and nicole i love them i these are my two favorite people on this show they really truly are them and Mar uh, marisol i love marisol but the two people that i love 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 gertie and, and nicole I, I ain't even gonna hold you i was like damn it i love them okay and we find out that Nicole says that Gertie is her BFF. I said, well, damn, okay. Of course. Of course. But of course, okay. Anyway, y'all, I really am in a great mood. Anyway, so we're moving on. The Gertie and Nicole talk about the whole chemotherapy situation. Um, Gertie is going to be going into chemo shortly after Adriana's um, party, Havana Nights party, which is being thrown. We're going to talk about that in just a second. She talks about the frequency of the chemo, then the radiation, etc. They bring up the situation with Larsa being a clickbait horror and that Larsa was asked about the Miami trip and she already saying, I ain't going to say no names, but somebody bit me. Now they flash back to show us who bit her and it was Gertie. 
you see that it's a playful bite. It's not a bite like they arguing and this bitch try to bite her like Mike Tyson and some shit. It wasn't nothing like that. It was a playful, like we're connecting type of bite. And Gertie was hurt. My thing is, Gertie, stop thinking that Larsa is your friend. Larsa is a friend to no one, okay? Larsa don't give a damn about nobody. She went to the school of Kardashian kind, and baby, she don't give a fuck about nobody. If it ain't making her no money, if it ain't, you know, elevating her status, okay? If it's not making her look like the hero of the story, she don't give a fuck about it, okay? And while Gertie was saying that her and Larsa had a moment at the church, I was personally, I didn't want to say it in my review when we did it last time, but I'm going to say it now. I was looking at Larsa and it did not feel like she was genuinely trying to be there for Gertie. I swear on everything I love, okay? I was looking at Larsa like, mm, she not for real. She's not for real. One, and this is going to sound crazy as fuck when I say it, but uh, you know, y'all here, y'all know I'm halfway crazy anyway, so it really don't matter, okay? So, you know how they say, don't trust nobody who kisses you with their eyes open? You ever heard of that? I don't know if you ever heard of that, but I've always heard that. And baby, it's always, I've, it always has been something that I was just like, you know what, bitch? You might be motherfucking right. Okay, don't trust nobody who uh, kisses you with their eyes open because they watching you to see how you respond to them, right? Larsa the whole time while Gertie was boohoo crying and everybody else was crying and you know look Larsa was looking at the camera she was trying to look around to see now she was like there consoling her if you go back and look at it but she was her eyes was open the whole time she had an opportunity to bow her head but her eyes were still open she was watching the scene watching everything I said this bitch is not in the in the moment she just looked this is an op for her this is an opportunity this is an optic for her I said child that bitch ain't for real I I, I said that in my mind but I didn't want to bring it up because I was like you know what let me let Gertie go on here and, and feel how she feel okay anyway I again never trust nobody who, who kiss you with their eyes open in tender moments like that watch them okay watch their ass anyway moving on to Frankie Peter and Alexia so Frankie shout out to Frankie shout out to Frankie he took a uber y'all for the first time shout out to Frankie Frankie is my guy I love Frankie that's my dude man so they're moving to that apartment that they didn't necessarily want but there wasn't real a whole lot of other options in Lexi is talking to Peter, her oldest son, about her getting her will together, you know, getting all of her affairs together and what's going to happen when Alexia transitions right to the other side. And Peter is like, yeah, absolutely. I would bring I would have Frankie on, you know, I know my dad can't be the one to do it because in his situation, I guess his dad probably has like felonies or something like that, because, you know, Alexia loved him drug dealers, child. And so. You know, Peter was like, you know, a couple of years ago, I probably wouldn't have been able to do it, but I've matured now. And so, yeah, Frankie would be some, you know, I would absolutely take Frankie on. I still side eye Peter just a little bit. He just seems so um, self-centered to me. Uh, he just still, still, he still just seems very self-centered that I don't, you know, I don't know. But if Alexi is okay with it, she's comfortable with it, fi fine by me. Shout out to Frankie. Moving forward in his independence, we love to see it. Oh my God, shout out to Frankie. Wish him all the best. So we see Lisa's mom and her auntie come. Now, I'm so very intrigued. I always saw Lisa and knew that she may have a little bit of extra ketchup and mustard mixed in with her mayo, but I didn't know much, right? So we find out her, her mom and her auntie are from Jamaica, okay? Now, I want to know, are they, what, what, I'm just, I'm interested in knowing their ethnicity, the culture, all of that. Obviously, they're Jamaican, but I'm interested to know a little bit more. I want to see what Lisa's dad looked like. I'm interested, okay? Was he, was he also Jamaican as well? I don't know. I'm intrigued. Were y'all intrigued as well? We find out my man, auntie ain't never careful any. I said, now how the hell, Lee? But you know what? How Lisa ended up marrying this man, he made so much money, she didn't give a fuck about it. I said, you know what, Lisa? You put yourself in this, girl. Your mama didn't like him. Your auntie and them didn't like him. Your people didn't like him. But you wanted to marry him because you knew he was going to be able to take care of you. Because you didn't really want to do nothing for yourself. You wanted to just be taken care of by a man. I used to be looking at Lisa like, girl, you put yourself in this mess. Lenny was never, he's not a generous man. He's not a kind man. He's not anything. He was just rich. And that is not, <laughs> ladies, go for a man who got money. I ain't going to tell you to go for no broke nigga. I would never in my life tell you to, you know, give him a chance. You know, give a man that don't got no money. A Hell no, nah, I never tell you no shit like that. But I will tell you that if he got money, you need to check how he acts. Check how he treat people. Is he generous? 
Does he treat people kindly? Okay. When he has power, does he treat people well? Is he fair? Is he honest? Does he have integrity? Girl, that's the shit you got to be looking for. Not just a nigga with money, girl, because then he gonna treat your ass bad with all the money that he got. And you see over here, you see Lisa over here fighting and clawing just for a damn house. Anyway, I'm going on off on a tangent, so I'm gonna be quiet and, and move along. Okay, we see Julia. Child Julia ain't got nothing going on. <laughs> <laughs> and we love this for her. I'm okay with it. Julie ain't got nothing going on, child. She done went and got a little pig. What's the damn pig name? Houdini. I said, oh, Lord, girl. He cute, though, but I would never get a pig, girl. I'm thinking about getting a dog. Y'all get in the comments and let me know. Do y'all have dogs? What dog What dog would you recommend? I don't want no no um real uh, energetic dog, child. I, I already have enough energy for myself. I'm not trying to be taking care of nobody else like that, okay? Anyway, uh, y'all saw uh, Julia selling her little farm to glam stuff. Y'all bought anything? I didn't even look because Julie ain't no fashion girly. <laughs> Julie don't give me glam, so I'll be. Mm, I ain't want to see none of that tacky shit. Y'all saw that bullshit she had on at the reunion? <sighs> Gypsies, tramps, and thieves. <laughs> Julia, Julia, girl, what the fuck you got on, girl? <laughs> I'm a genie in a bottle, baby. It was giving all kinds. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> So we getting ready for Havana Nights party, okay? And uh, it, y'all, this I'm gonna just talk about the scene real, real quick and move on. Cause when I tell you I was bawling, bitch, I cry. I was like, <laughs> bitch, I was no more good, no more good. Gertie is preparing to shave her head. Russell is there. He's helping her cut her hair off and shave it. When I tell you Russell's a, a sweet, sweet soul, like he just a quiet storm, baby. I we here for it. We here for it. Gertie looked the fuck good. She looked the fuck good. Okay, not mad at it at all. We we're moving on because I don't want to cry. All right, so we get to the party. Adriana's performing. Uh, Emilio Estefan is, I guess, wrote the song for her, put some music to it or whatever. I I guess I guess it's about who you know, because girl Adriana can't sing. I'm like, girl, what is she singing? <laughs> what is she singing because it doesn't sound good but you know anyway i'm not mad at him give her something to do because the bitch was evil when she didn't have nothing going on she really was okay uh the girls are on their way gossiping about larsa like is this bitch delusional because michael jordan said hell nah he don't want to have nothing to do and he don't like Mar uh larsa with marcus right and they're all gossiping about that shit is funny again julia being the bone collector is hilarious to me Nicole and Gertie get there. I put a big ass yes on my piece of paper. The fuck yes. Okay, did you see Nicole get out there with that beautiful red dress on? Bitch gave me everything I needed to have in my life forever and always. I was a big for that red dress that Nicole had on. I said, bitch, you better get girl, you better work. This, this is the this is what I'm talking about. And Gertie, did you see her giving Cruella the bill tea, like sexy Cruella? And I was here for her with the hat. Them, those are the two best dressed girls in Bravo history. Period. Argue with your mama. I don't give a fuck. I love Gertie and Nicole. Be dressed down, okay? Be dressed down. Like, can I have keys to your closet, please? Because I, I want to wear what you're wearing, okay? Anyway dress down okay uh larsa gets there everybody good you know she talking running her mouth you know i try to be as like friends with everyone and like you know i'm making a concerted effort she ain't say concerted that was me <laughs> i'm just making an effort to like be friends with everyone and you know and so they're asking her about the michael jordan thing and she's like yeah everything's fine she started getting defensive she was like do you would you like or, i'm a grown woman he's a grown man do you need permission to have somebody we was like baby that's not what we asking about we asking why the fuck did michael jordan say hell no nah, when you told us hell yeah girl that's what we asking about okay she's like i wouldn't be with him if his parents didn't approve well it don't sound like they are but okay girl Gertie get there and Gertie talks about how they all were you know uniting in in uh mexico and he'll go <laughs> alexia i love production they so damn shady she was like thank you guys i'm the one that brought everyone together <laughs> okay yeah right alexia Alexia, okay, I, I I haven't had to get on top of her. I haven't had to get on her yet lately. I feel like I am going to have to in this reunion. But, you know, okay, girl, whatever. Gertie and Larsa get into it. Baby, when I tell you Russell was not having it, Russell was about to drag that bitch. Russell was like, Larsa, you better respect me. Bitch, don't play with me. <laughs> Russell was 
like, uh uh-uh. uh, girl, you about, I ain't for play play, bitch. You better watch out. Russell really was not here for it. He, kept, he was like, girl, to get up. Come on, come on. I don't, why is you stop? Why is you arguing with this bitch? He ain't say bitch, but he was looking at her like, this plastic heifer, if you don't let this inflatable doll, if you don't go on, okay, child, Gertie gets all worked up, child pulls a wig off. This is what I had to do today. I was like, Gertie, girl, you ain't have to tell them that. And here go Larsa. Well, I'm sorry. Worry about your health. Worry. I was like, oh, bitch, you need, <laughs> you need to get dragged. You need to get dragged. You need to get dragged. Lisa comes over there to get to defend her. Defend, not Gertie, but Larsa. You know, it was just a joke. Lisa, go, girl, <laughs> go check a, choke on a chicken bone, bitch. I cannot. S- <sighs> anyway, we're moving on. We're moving on. Russell was pissed. He was not here for it. Uh, Adriana comes up and performs and. Taylor Swift. Okay, great, uh, great gowns, beautiful gowns. I mean, it was music. <laughs> it had a beat. <laughs> it was rhythm. I liked it. It was gowns, beautiful gowns. <laughs> it was beautiful gowns, beautiful gowns, you know, it was nice gowns. Um, Yeah. <laughs> I'm just glad she got something to do, y'all. <laughs> I'm just glad Adriana got something to do. Anyway, uh, wrapping up this season, Nicole is pregnant. Shout out to Dr. Nicole. When I tell you they are so fucking luxurious and just so fucking like top tier, like just opulence, just all the things that I want to be in my life when I grow up. Like, bitch, why are you so fucking rich? Oh my God, I love it. I love it. Oh, I love it. Anyway, uh, Lisa's still fighting with Lenny. I said, girl, you need to wrap this shit up. You need to wrap this shit up. For real, for real. Like, it's old. And I don't know why. And I think Lisa and, no, yeah, Lisa and Larsa were talking about how Jody is so good. And, you know, I've got, I got Jody with me. I was like, girl, you still leaning on a man. You, you have not learned your lesson. And you will forever be in this situation. This is a learned behavior that Lisa has just grown accustomed to. And it's very sad. Uh, Kiki got a man at um, okay, Kiki. I bet it's a white man. I'm sure it is. I'm not mad, but I can tell Kiki give me she she date white men. Anyway, uh, what else is going on? Larsa, girl, I said, bitch. <laughs> Marcus got Larsa a promise ring. I said, y'all is grown, girl. She 50. And nigga, you 30. <laughs> y'all still doing promise rings? Okay. <laughs> okay martina and julia are adopting shout out to them gertie is cancer free Woohoo! love this for her she looks the fuck good with the ball head with the wig with the whatever braids whatever gertie is wearing she looks the fuck good marisol is renewing her vows to her boyfriend unofficial husband i'm not mad at protect your assets at all costs and again adriana has a song coming out in early 2024 I'm just glad they gave that bitch something to do. That's all I'm going to say. Okay? Give her something to do. Okay? So she not all in everybody else's business. Y'all get down in the comments. I'm ready for this reunion. Those reunion looks. I'm probably going to do a video on reunion looks because, girl, what the fuck y'all was doing over there? What y'all doing over there? What are y'all doing? Okay? Anyway, get down in the comments. Let me know what you think about the episode. Don't forget to like this video before you leave. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.